Earth, Earth Systems, Earth Science, um, asynchronous day, whether it is Tuesday or Thursday. I'm just going to be showing you a few things today to help you start getting oriented with remote learning and also what your assignment is for your first lesson. So when you look in Schoology, you'll notice that I have one, two, three, and four folders for each of the units that we're going to be covering. And that when you open a folder, there's going to be a week with a certain range of dates. So next week, there'll be week two, week three, week four, until we finish our unit one, stars in space. Now right here is going to be the slideshow for that unit. But when we open a week, there's going to be a couple things that you'll see each week. An assignment or assignments that are due, any handouts or notes that I give, but also this document right here, Earth Systems 2021 Week 1, which happens to be this document right here. So this will cover the guiding question that we learned about this week, material that we learned, and also directions for our synchronous and asynchronous lessons. This video is going to be posted right here as a URL to YouTube. So you'll be able to see this video every single day where I give an overview of what you're going to be doing to help you maybe think about getting your work done on time, doing it well, and making sure that you come to class the next day with questions or comments or feedback. There's also a quick link to our Google Meets depending on the class period that you have in it. So our work for today is going to be a quick assignment where I'm going to be taking a look at your ability to communicate scientific ideas. It's called Life on Other Planets. I don't want you to worry about the rubric here or the naming. We'll get into how I assign um, information and how you're going to be graded this semester. But I do want to talk about the three steps that you're going to be working on. So the first thing you're going to be working on is brainstorming life on other planets. So using your creativity, your imagination, as well as your scientific background, you've all taken science classes. I want you to try and explain in a Google drawing below what you would look for if you were a scientist for looking for life on another planet. You can think about the planet, its star, and any other factors that you think would be important. To open this, you're just going to double click. And this is your blank canvas for you to draw, write, doodle, anything that you want that you think is important to show what you would be looking for for life on another planet. You're then going to take a look at a four minute video about our nearest star, Proxima Centauri, which happens to have an exoplanet, a planet called Proxima Centauri b. Now this step is all about your ability to try and answer in your own words and ideas some questions about the video. They're going to be talking about some different scientific processes like the Doppler effect in the habitable zone, but also you're going to be trying to explain ideas like why Proxima Centauri isn't fried like a marshmallow because it's so close to its orbiting sun. And then the last little bit that you're going to be working on is a short article called The Allura of Proxima Centauri. So a few weeks ago, and this is like hot off the press scientific news, um, these mysterious signals came from the star that you're going to be learning about in this video. I want you to read it and using examples and quotes from the article, try and explain why it's so difficult to understand and examine phenomena, examples, events, things in our universe. How could we definitively know what the source of the signal is from this star? There's a good analogy in the article that I welcome you to use, that if space was all of the water and all of the oceans on Earth, humans have only explored about a hot tub's worth of space. So that will be a good thing for you to take a look at. Um, I'm hoping that you submit these today on Schoology um, so I can take a look at them and answer um, any questions that you have. Please feel free to reach out for me, and I'm really looking forward to meeting you. Or if this is your second day and you met me today on Tuesday, I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.